Shalom to all the children of the Most High Yah. This is the day that Yah have made, and I will rejoice and be glad in it. Uh, today I need to cover a subject dealing with our children. Um, it was kind of laid on my heart to do this after reading a comment from one of our brothers. And I, I do think this is a subject that we need to talk about and deal with um, a little bit better and a little bit more. I only touch on it briefly in some of my other videos, but I think uh, some focus and attention needs to be um, placed on our children. Hey people, our children are out of control. Our children are out of control in every city in this country. they just out of control. And something needs to be done about this on the home front. Okay? Back when we were in our land, things were done differently. Everyone raised the children. It wasn't just um, a single mother struggling by herself to raise you no know, two or three boys or five or six kids by herself or anything like that. We all had help. Um... But what we see happening right now, we see a bunch of young women raising children by themselves, some of them still wet behind the ears, and these children are being raised out of control. As a result, you see so many things happening. They can't hold their tongue. They're cussing grown-ups out. You know, brother, I do agree with you that something needed to be done with that young lady. I just don't, I just refuse to say that that cop had a right to strike her because they won't give us their consent to do that to their children. That's where I'm coming from on that. But I agree with you 100%. Our kids are out of control. They run their mouth too much. They, um, they get in grown-ups' face. They disrespectful as I don't know what. My husband and I, the way we deal with our children, we make them understand how they're supposed to respond to us, to other adults, and how they're supposed to be, period. When we go out in public... We get so many compliments about how good our children are and how respectful they are. And, you know, even when we get visitors to our home, we have nine children. And, you know, we've had people say that I can't tell you have that many children in the house because we don't let them run them up. Not saying that my children are perfect. They have their little issues, too, because the scripture says mischief is bound in the heart of a child. OK, what I am saying is that there are certain things we should not allow our children to do. Our children need to be dealt with according to how scripture says we need to deal with them. Not according to the law, stoning them to death. That's not what I'm talking about. It says train up a child in the way that they should go. And it's, it's not considered training them up in the way that they should go if you stuffing them in front of a TV and letting that babysit them for the majority of the day. Or if your kids are out here in the street for hours at a time, you have no idea where they are. That's not okay. Only in America do they think you're putting a stranglehold on your kids if you know where they are at any given hour of the day. To me, it's sick and pathetic if you don't know where they are. If your kids are loafing up and down the street, groping around in the noonday, then there's a problem there because they can waltz up on any kind of trouble, especially in this day and time. Right now, our children have targets on their back, on their head, on their chest, wherever. And it's not just the police doing the killing, y'all. You have everyday average citizens taking them out. And guess what? It's not just our enemies taking them out either. You have blacks killing blacks, or should I say Hebrews killing Hebrews, at an alarming rate. You got to ask yourself, if I was making sure that my child had his behind in the house, maybe reading a book or something, instead of in the street hanging around 10 or 15 other um, lawless children. Maybe he wouldn't be getting shot dead in the streets, y'all. Have you ever considered that? I hate to say it, but some of our some of our parents just want the kids out of the house and out of their face. I can imagine sometimes you do want some quiet time to yourself, but every single day you just want them gone. You cussing at them and telling them get the heck out of the house. I mean, come on, y'all. You want to keep burying your kids? Keep on acting like you don't care. Keep on letting them get worse and worse. You know, some of y'all, you put your kids on YouTube with these little crazy videos. Three-year-old girl shaking her rump. Got her butt tilted all up in the air, bouncing it around. You think it's cute? You cheering her on? What are you doing? And you got your little son thugging around and acting like he cool and stuff. 
And by the time he's five years old, he know what pimping is. We need to get control of our kids because right now the whole world is looking at us, people, children of Israel. The whole world looking at us, they pointing and laughing just like the Bible said they would. But guess what? A lot of the pointing and laughing that they're doing is because we ourselves have failed to sanctify Yah in the eyes of our children. That is what's going on. If you want your kids to keep going out of control, getting worse and worse, your girls um, turn into other girls for comfort and boys turn into boys and uh, they becoming tutti fruity. You know, if you want that to keep on happening, keep on letting them doing all the mess that they want to do. Stop um, letting your kids uh, go to everybody's house. Stop letting your kids watch everything on TV. Stop letting your kids sit up on YouTube watching things they shouldn't be watching. Your kids sitting up on the computer just looking at anything, hearing anything, hanging around anybody. You need to know who your children are hanging out with. If another child is doing something, selling drugs or, or whoremonging and doing stuff like that, and your child hanging out with them nine times out of ten, they, they're going to start doing the same things. You understand that? I love my people so much, but sometimes I get so doggone frustrated. And I know a lot of y'all do. I talk to people all the time who feel the same frustration that I feel right now. Because our people are hard-headed. You know, when the scripture says you are a stiff-necked people, ain't nothing changed. We don't want nobody telling us anything. I remember one young girl, she was pregnant, 15 years old, pregnant, about to have a baby. And uh, another sister just told her, you know, sister, you don't want to be doing that while you're pregnant because that's not good for the baby. You know, she was drinking something she ain't had no business. This 15-year-old girl went off on her, cussing her out, disrespecting her. And, yeah, I can imagine sometimes some of y'all might want to um, knock, knock them in their mouth. I can imagine that you want to do that sometimes. But how about training them up? Okay, if you were telling them this stuff was cute when they was ten, um, two years old, by the time they ten, you can't do nothing with them. You should have thought about that before you were parading them around, letting them do all of this stuff. Your kids, uh, five years old, cussing like a sailor, thugging around, six years old, got a girlfriend. Your daughter, seven years old, she know everything there is to know about SEX. That tells me right now somebody ain't doing their job. And then you get so doggone frustrated. You know, I've had parents contact me about homeschooling, you know, because their kids are having so many problems in the public school. And a lot of it has something to do with things that they've been exposed to in the public school. But you have to understand, parents, when you put your children in a certain environment, it's going to undo anything that you can put in them. If you're putting good in them, but you're letting the system put bad in them seven to eight hours a day, then we got to look at every angle. Why are our children out of control? Number one, we know our music got a lot to do with that too. I can't stand to see no little bitty girl singing no song, talking about relationships and stuff, talking about uh, what you want your man to do to you and all of this stuff. I mean, I'm, I'm tired of listening to that kind of stuff coming out of our little children's mouths. And everybody think it's so cute. It ain't cute, okay? If we don't start getting our children under control, this thing is going to get so bad to where we're going to be forced to throw them away into the system, which is what a lot of you doing anyway. Y'all, we got to come together. We got to do better than this. This generation is slipping fast. They dying fast. We losing them, y'all. We losing them to a world of trouble. Shalom.